And welcome back. This is Coattail. We got another War Rights event. <laughs> Hope you all had a good week. I am trying to shake this cough, and I have failed miserably to do so. But we shall carry on. We have a UEC for this Friday. It is Server 1, Piper Farm, 200 player count, 102 for the defending CSA, 98 on the attacking Union. Let's take a look at their gun teams. Looks like we've got Ulti here. With two gun, not ulti here. It's not ulti. It's Leo. He's in ulti's battery, but Corporal Leo is in charge. Let me get that straight. And then we got GLA here under Lieutenant Tim has a gun. So it looks like two gun crews for Leo and one gun crew for the uh, GLA for the Union. Let's take a look at the rest of that Union team and see if I can not mess it up here. All right, we've got the 52nd New York. We've got the A N B. The 18 North Carolina, the SB 51st New York, and 12 VA, and then for leadership here we've got John Beck. Now this is going to be tough for me. I'm going to try really hard. Stick all me out on it. Lemuel, Lemuel Todd here leading the 18 North Carolina. Lemuel. I'm told it's like a French doctor. We'll see if I got it right. Let me know in the comments if I fucked it up still. Uh, we have Pistol Pete leading the 12th VA, the Major Venom leading the SB, and Captain Leferic leading the A and B. Here's Alti from the SB, and then we've also got uh, O'Keefe here from the 52nd. All right, so let us see who we got. Starting out with the CSA, looks like we got AGL here, Sergeant Dark, has some Arty. Looks like two guns. Do they have another gun? Okay. Yeah. We do have another gun here under VA Bat under Dalheimer. Then on their infantry, we have six Texas under Captain Russo. You've got 56 Virginia under Captain Slaughter. You've got six Texas. Who am I missing? Here we go. AGL under Juicy B. 20th Georgia under Colonel Jumbo here. And then the GC led by Jack Stone. And we are live. And we also get, is that 39th New York in there? We also have 39th New York is joining with the 20th here as well. So I believe that's everybody. If I missed you, uh, yell at me in the comments. And we are live. We'll see how they set up. Right, looks like the uh, CSA spreading out the field here. They're sending one unit to the far left here, and that is the AGL. Union so far... Looks like they're sending some units pretty spread out as well. We'll see how the CSA sets up first. And we will go from there. And see how the Union wants to attack. Looks like a very large force here in the center. We've got six Texas kept so in the center, although Jack Stone might be taking his guys out to the left. And on the right side of the field here, we got 20th. Slash 39th. And then we've also got 56 here. Now the Union side, they've sent one element out to the uh, Union left CSA. Right, and that is Pistol Pete with the 12th BA. Went out through the corn. A little bit behind him is the 52nd. Coming up the center is Venom with the SB. And Mr. Todd here, looks like he's also going for the center as well. And then here comes uh, Lafiric with the A and V. Let's see how they do here against this initial fight with the AGL. Ooh, got some pretty heavy shots here into the uh, A and B. See if they can return the favor. Uh, a couple went down, but I think actually AGL got the better of that engagement. Since the Artie is so far, I'll kind of just watch the splashes for the Union, but I will check in on the uh, CSA Artie time for time. And if I can catch them. See, now we've got SB has formed a strong position here on the center. And I was about to check on that arty, And it bounced and exploded way high. So they got to really pull down on the next time, I believe. It's like some other arty is going off now. Nice from AGL over here, but they are targeting the A and V out here. Looks like their shot went a little bit, bounced a little bit far too. 
a GC in this ready reserve position. Pretty quiet battlefield so far. You got 56 staying back under the hill. You got 20 staying under the hill. Let's see what Jumbo's thinking of doing. Ready. Right step, right. rear rank. So, like, these guys on the right side are starting to get targeted by Leo and the uh, Lieutenant Tim's guns by a little bit. Yeah, so far, pretty quiet. Oh, we got some movement hey. over here, though. So, 18, uh, Lemuel. Up and over. Oh. Up and over. Has set up a defensive line here, and that's allowed Lefiric to push up a little bit. But it looks like AGL's waiting for Go him. ahead. Hold on the stone wall, independent. Hold here, hold here. Five stone. Keep going, keep going. Oh, now we're holding. Alright, boys, right here. Right and AGL has done a great job here of holding this side here by themselves. They're actually facing two units. We've also got uh, 18 North Carolina came up here as well. Oh, but we got some forward movement here. Who is this? All right. SB has moved forward here, and they got some support on their left flank here. Trying to crest the hill a little bit, put some pressure on this left side here. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, some nice shots there, taking out the arty guys. Oh, I think they got all of them. Wow! They knocked off that whole arty crew. I'm actually getting a good amount of tickets off of this arty crew here. Facts, who's moving up all the way up here? It is 52nd, John Beck. And then 12 VA even further up here. Really putting a lot of pressure here on the CSA right. Into that pressure are those guts. And this side is continuing to be a problem here. And AGL is doing a great job of holding down the uh, center position here. Now GC has moved up here to move and support him. Let's see how Jack Stone can change the equation on this side a little bit. So that already shot got buried into the wall there. Let's check back up on this other side here. What we got here, we got six Texas holding down the center. CSA is, is really falling behind on the tickets here. The is doing a great job of putting pressure on them in multiple sides here. Not really allowing the CSA to kind of mass up and defend on any side here. So even though they're not really mutually supporting as far as within range of each other, they are all putting pressure simultaneously, which is what you need to do. This is going to be even more effective against the defender, if you can pull it off. 
comes Russo. Let's see how he does. Nice little volley there. Both sides right. Kill all the that means you have a get on that side. Wow, guys. Right. Uh, be aware. You might get connected from the left side. Still. I, 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 yeah, see the problem for SB right now is they've taken a lot of pressure. Now that the uh, 12th VA and 52nd been forced back, now all the fire is going to be concentrating on these guys here from multiple angles. And it's going to be tough here for Venom to maintain this position. And you can see also the tickets are starting to get back too as well. At this point, I'll be honest with you, it's not really, uh, unless these guys move forward again, this position is no longer um, viable here for Mr. Vandal. Keep an eye on him. Let's see, uh, let's rotate out to this side of the field here. Pace on the way, last case. Oh wow, it looks like it shot right through this uh, hole in the uh, wall, exploded a little too far. Prompt for A and B right now is the uh, is AGL element here. If they don't restrain it, it's going to really push up on that flank. Let's see what GCP is thinking of doing. Yeah, he's gonna move up a little bit, try to shoot him in the face here. Oh, devastating volley from the AG here. It's the 18th North Carolina and the A and B. Let's see if another cannon shot bounced through. See Mr. Todd here. Mr. Lyferic. Can hold it. There we go. We're at the gauge now for the CSA. 2850 ain't too bad though. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, and that has been enough. AGL is going to fall back a little bit, get their numbers again, but they have still restrained those guys fairly well so far. Let's see, oh, we got some forward man moving here by the 12th VA here. Let's see Pistol Pete. Oh man, I just got time for that volley. Oh man, look at that, by the 20th, supported by the Artie. Holy oh, yeah. shit. The 12th VA, what happened to him? Oh, the only one left is T-Dub. T-Dub, you're the only man left. All your buddies are gone. What happened between 20th Georgia and 39th and then the Artie? Oh man, oh man. Oh, now 50 seconds taking a lot of fire now. Holy man, some punishing volleys here by the CSA team. That was Slaughter, that last one. Look at him joining up with Jumbo and his folks. And they are just hammering these Union units here. Wow. Man, oh man, who's left? Uh, so Venom right, did get that support on his left here, but they're dead now. He's trying to engage six Texas at the top there. I see a guy in there. 
There's a couple tickets there, yep. Yeah, you're right dressing, fill up the rear end as well, please. There's five tickets, five free tickets right there. Oh, Brandon, please don't stand behind an NCO falling on the left side of the line. Right, oh, right, uh, right, 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 Watch out, Captain. Captain in charge. Captain in charge. Captain in charge. They can rip. Let's see what else we got here. Check in on six Texas. They've been drawing all that, a lot of that fire from the SP. And he's actually going to rotate now. Different angle here. I like this. Is he gonna engage his spear or is he gonna try to engage these guys all the way out over here? Oh, we had a charge I missed. We team North Carolina waiting for a charge. Actually, they had a decent use of cover. Was able to survive a lot of that fire here from the GC. Nice little maneuver there. Using the cover of those wagons. Oh, 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 oh. Set a shot and see where it went. Oh, and who's this all the way up here? Is this Six Texas? It is. They're not gonna stay there though, and I wouldn't stay there. So a little poke is fine, but yeah, he's got the right. So he's got the right call. Get out of there. And so far, uh, CSA had uh, engaged uh, a little bit below that. Union's well ahead on tickets. They didn't hit the I saw it, Todd. I saw it. I watched it. I got the video evidence. Wow. We yeah, pushed him back on the right side. Infantry came up. Now they're out in the open. So, oh, okay. Oh, Let's yeah. talk about Hell yeah. Left side. Thank you. I know what it's going to be this one, Ozzy. You're getting picked up, Mick. Virginia. Uh, looks like we got some more movement over on this side. Who's coming up? It's like the 12th and 50 set. Well, at least the 12th is. I believe this is the 12th. Yep, 12th is moving back up. 50 seconds kind of in reserve. And here comes SB. Union's still at battle ready, only just. Um, I think their main enemy at this point is time. They need to, I would say, uh, they don't need to, but they uh, they might want to try to pick up the pace a little bit on these attacks. Keep up the pressure here. Or they might they be in danger of, uh, on the left side of the line. Losing, losing out on time. And Artie's doing some work, though. Oh man, I missed that. Oh, oh, I missed that. That shot was dead in on the 56. You can see the damage, man. I wish I had the camera focused on that. Man, oh man. I am sorry, gentlemen. I missed that one. So AGL is no longer restrained. Interestingly enough, AGL is no longer on this flank over here. They moved all the way back over here. We'll see what Juicy B is thinking next. If he can keep restraining the A and V in 18 North Carolina. I tell you, man, this already is doing some damage. Now this is going well. That wasn't very, that wasn't very cool. No, but they're yeah, pretty yeah, cool. Good the target that up. Arctic crew is close to us. Focus the right. The Germans can't be on the Arctic so. <laughs> well, you got nice him shot. Good nice shit, shot. You got him. Nice shot. Nice shot. 
Yeah, John Beck is starting to move up here as well. Oh, we had another raid here by Lemuel. Does he get away again? Does he get away again? Man, he is... He loves doing these little raids here, man. Against yeah, poor uh, Jack Stone above there. Yeah, without uh, the AGL out here restraining the uh, A and B in the 18 North Carolina, they're having a lot better effects here in shaping the middle of this battlefield. And really squeezing the CSA. You can see that almost down to uh, taking losses now. now. Let's see this. Uh, Again, great little tactic here. He waited for the volley. He waited for an opportunity. And now he's going to try to get a raid in before they get their reloads. Nice little raid. Can he get out? Can he get out in time? Looks like he can. Now, uh, Lyferic is going to try it, but he's got a little bit of a problem here. AGL's on his flank. Oh, but he's going to punch him in the face either way. And you see uh, A&B got caught a little bit out in the open because they were taking some crossfire. CSA now at engage, though. See, Russo's going to try to come up and help him intercept this uh, charge here by A and B. A well-timed counter charge by the 6 Texas. AGL going in as well. I think that's a gunner, actually. And yeah, they are actually going to catch the 18 North Carolina. Wow, they get everybody? And that time, they kind of pissed off the uh, Union. I'm sorry, the CSA, and they got most of them out. Although the two flags are trying to get away. Are the two flags going to make it out? Man, oh man, look at these flag bearers. Man, extra rational whiskey for both of those men. Or beverage of choice. 19 minutes, taking losses. This is uh, not looking great for the CSA right now. Union still has plenty of tickets. The only thing I would say is don't get uh, complacent. Keep up the uh, attacks here. So, you know, you can lose a little bit of time now that the uh, CSA counterattacks here to that side. So I would almost even suggest to see if you can try to hit this element pretty hard. Maybe a flanking attack. And, oh, wait a second here. I would say great minds think alike, but Russo's smarter than me. Look at this flank attack he's going to do against Venom. Gonna put, oh, I wouldn't stay there though. Don't piss off Venom and stay there. Oh, I think he stayed a little bit too long. I've got him. Oh, but we got a raid in the back end here. I imagine this 12th BA. It is. Wow. Go, go, right. A little bit of raid here against the 20th, but 20th has been dodging this already all day, too. Along with the poor 56, man. These poor guys slaughtering his boys. To be honest, I would even do another raid like 6 Texas did again, but... Oh, looks like they did. Okay, GC did the same thing. They came out and did a little raid. While the Union is still trying to get his men back, you got an opportunity to hit him pretty good. Out of line there. Ready. Load fire at will, commence fire. Voraus. Keep those grass with them. Now we see the Union has now stopped messing around with this left side here. The CSA left, they're going to start moving on the right. But UCB has seen an opportunity. He's going to press forward. Let's see if he can do a flank attack here and spoil this uh, C East Union massing here that's happening in the center. So you got most of the Union force here. You've got the SB as an anchor forward, and then you got the harassing force right now by uh, the 12th VA.
Okay, let's go. And is the Union looking to cap? They might be. Oh, this is a beautiful shot if these guys can get it off in time. Oh, you gotta be quick about this. Thinking this opportunity is not gonna stay too long. Let's see if Dark can do it. Can his boys do it? Oh, you gotta get it done. Oh, y'all take it too long. I know you're trying to get your triple canister, but that opportunity is going to go away while you're trying to set up the perfect shot. 70% solution, violently executed. Yeah, you see, half the guys have moved out already. And you're still loading the cannon. There we go. Let's see if it's worth it. Ah! Oh! It was okay. I think it took a little bit too long. Oh, here's that raid I was talking about. Here's AGL. Oh, but a great reaction here by the A and B to chase them off here. There Some go. nice tickets. Even though SB has been hit pretty hard here, now you got John Beck at the 52nd has pushed up. And who are they facing off against? They are facing off against Slaughter and his boys, along with Jumbo. Who's that on this side? Ah, oh, look here comes Jack Stone. He's gonna try to outflank the flankers. Uh, 12 VA is wisely getting out of there and not face the wrath of Mr. Jack Stone. A lot of already is coming in here. Ah! So I've finally seen it. It has been a while. But I have a flipped case on on my screen. So it is still entirely possible, and I have seen it with my own eyes. So I now believe that you all can do it. It's not easy, but it is doable. Oh, they got out of there. Don't shoot it. Don't waste your shot. Don't do it, Floor North. There's nobody there. Check, there's nobody there, don't do it! All right, there we go. Good job, Della. Oh, it's your shot. Only got one shot. Uh, who do we got out here? Is this the A and B element? Oh, nice little cancer shot here into the poor A and B. Well, CSA is still in trouble. I'd say they had 14 minutes. They're almost on breaking. Oh, they're charging up. Trying to knock out this cannon, but who's coming to meet him? Oh, here comes Jack Stone looking for more blood. And it is A and B blood he seeks. They fire and they charge. Looks like they're joined by their friends, so Six Texas going in as well. Good to see it. And I think AGL is now there at the far side, so they can move up as well now that this flank is secure. Let's check back in with the center here. If I can get the camera right. Oh, I'm having a lot of trouble with this camera. Try it from the other side. Oh, these guys are facing off against both 12th VA and 52nd. Oh, man, I don't know if 56 can take both of these guys. Alright, 
and I'm going to check back and see how the center's holding. The SB has been a freaking rock this whole time, holding down this position. I thought they couldn't hold up to it. They had to fall back once or twice, but they have been a the anchor of this Union team this whole time. Oh, is that is that Mr. Todd I hear? It is. And he is joined by the A and V as well. Oh, can they get the AGL as they come up? Nice little shot there. And that'll put him on the breaking. The Union's already pre-capped. Oh, this might be it. And look who's positioned to take it. Venom, the anchor of the Union team, is there. Jumbo's going to try to stop him. Can Jumbo do it? I don't know. Let's see. Six Texas is coming in. GC's coming in. And it is a melee on point now. Oh, but who came up behind? The 12th VA and the 52nd have swung up behind the CSA and hit her, hitting them in the back. Oh, the humanity. And it looks like the CSA will hold. But at what cost? At what cost? So the CSA hold that attack. The Union doesn't get the instant win here. But they have really put the CSA down quite a bit. And it is close to last stand now. 10 minutes, 20 left. So the nice thing about that, too, is everybody's back at Maine. So now they can have a discussion about what they want to do next. And you hear Mr. Todd, he says back to the fence. The mule says one more push will do it. They had a little conference, and we will see how it goes. I can get a couple uh, stragglers still out here. See how the CSA set up their defense. So it looks like they got a wide L formation here. See, we've got uh, L AGL over here, but it looks like they're about to be smacked. The rest of the team is pretty much in a linear position along the center by the hay bales. Uh, but this is risky for AGL. I like the idea here, but a great idea for a counter by the SB and Venom. If they can knock out the AGL in detail, that will really hurt the CSA on their tickets. They are straight behind that bush. I'm kind of surprised they're not just popping out over here and shooting from this angle. I think they'd have better luck. And then, you know, just get you just tucked back in to get your reloads if you're worried about losses. But you're ahead by more than a morale state. I don't even know why you're worried about losses, to be honest with you. If that's what he's thinking. Now, here comes Slafiric. Oh, but here comes a boo by Russo to try to flank him. Let's see how they can do. The CSA already should have triple canister ready now. Oh, 
Give us the next one. Here comes 20th. Union taking a lot of losses this time on the center field, but they were also inflicting a lot here. Get the 52nd, 18 North Carolina. Any of you trying to hold it? And you've got the flanking force here. Hold up. Don't sign the ball. Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete. And okay, big thing, SB charged out the AGL. They are now in the back line. They've got a great opportunity to flank the uh, remainder of the CSA team. But it looks like they're gonna pull back a little bit and get reorganized. They don't have a flag with them. So that is a problem. There we are, last stand now, CSA, six minutes remaining, as 12th VA has pushed up really far to try to, oh, I like this move by Pistol Pete, into the back line of the CSA team. He's going to try to wrap them up here and take as many as they can down as possible, especially since they're on last stand. They are having great effects in this backfield here. It's wrapping up units here. That's what we call, when we talk about momentum, this is what we're talking about here. Six Texas went in to help, but uh, the damage has been done. They've lost a lot here. Let's see, have they gotten a flag back? No, SB still doesn't have a flag. I think that's their biggest hang up right now. Ooh, nice volley by Todd and his boys. I don't know how I can be messing up the name like Todd. I'm, I'm, I'm confused, but you know, I have been, but I've been very cognizant of it this time. All right, here comes the charge here. Ulti is leading. Ooh. Ulti, are you going to let them use the guns against you like that? At the cannon. Don't push any further. And that will take those angles here. And you still have this strong force here with 50 seconds. And 18 North Carolina on point. And they are slowly capping it. Meanwhile, SB has taken the flank here and uh, taken away their cannons, at least these ones. They've really boxed in the CSA. I'm not sure what choice they have really left. They're just kind of massing up here in the backside, waiting for that final charge, which I think, to be honest with you, is the best choice. Although I wouldn't be so packed together with that Artie. There is a very risky chance that they can not get nailed by that Artie. I didn't, I didn't. I wouldn't Six Texas tried to ambush him, but he didn't succeed. This is it. They got to charge in now. GC going in on this angle against A and B. Here they come. Final charge of the German Corps. At least for this map. We'll see him on the next one. Don't worry. And Lyferic and A and B will win that fight. And this should be it. SB charging in on this angle. They will cap the point here momentarily for a decisive win for the Union on this map. I like the CSA. They had some good initial plays, but uh, I think the main thing that the Union did really well was put pressure on multiple points simultaneously and keep up that pressure. And that enabled them to come over to uh, defeat them, the CSA. And, you know, that's both on the infantry side and the Artie side. So, well done to the Union team. Uh, we'll see how contention goes on the next one, so. Dug in the water. <laughs>